is Devon going to actually come back? Because I was reading an article and they, he's like, if they want me to come back, I'll come back. Yeah, they I only think signed, bring well, the Dudley's back would be fucking sweet. Bubba's, Bubba was only signed for that. Like, they're not sure if they want him in a full-time role or not yet. Yeah. Which the pop they got. Oh, that was huge. Yeah. And he stayed in the Rumble longer than I expected. <laughs> he had a couple eliminations. He, yeah. I like how he put on... He actually put on weight to get back in the Bubba Ray character. Yeah, he looked completely nothing like the guy down in TNA. Yeah, he was back in the old... Yeah. The old gray camos. <coughs> it was cool to see him, though. I think the Boogeyman was a really, really big surprise one. Yeah, he was in and out. Yeah, but still. <laughs> Zack Ryder come back hurt. Yeah. Um, Your boy's coming back, Ric Flair. Is he? Um, what the hell's his name? Ric Flair. Yeah, no, not Ric Flair. Um, Three Man Band, Ric Flair. Oh, he's Slater? Yeah, he's coming back. When? He's been doing some dark matches. Getting ready to come back. Oh, has he? Yeah. Been raping some women? Yeah, he's been, uh, acquitted from all those charges. What did you think of, uh, Justin Gabriel leaving, the the WWE right before the Royal Rumble? He quit? Yeah. So he's no longer the bunny? Nope. He was uh, supposed to be in the Royal Rumble. They told him, hey, a couple of our surprise guys came through and they kicked three people out of the Rumble. He was one of them. He said, okay, I'm going to leave the company then. Uh Hey. And he's already, um, (coughs) he's already signed with the company. They didn't even put up the 60 days no compete, the the no compete clause where he can't sign anywhere. Like, what way to sign? P.W. something. Oh, some no-name fucking yeah. shit storm place. Um, Good for him. Alex Riley's working on his gimmick. Uh, Alex so Riley. He's from Boston. He played he played football at Boston College. Yeah. Uh, I'll pass on uh, that. Big Show doing random nothing. Uh, Daniel Bryan was going to put Bray Wyatt over. That's sad. Uh, Sheamus. I'm just, I'm reading over these notes. Uh, Sheamus. Wow, I didn't know Jamie, Jamie Noble and Joey Mercury were actually, uh, part of the, like, not writing staff, but booking staff now. I knew they were, ta- like, talent trainers, but I didn't yeah. know they were booking staff. God, they're both so small. They're, like, so tiny compared to half those guys out there. Yeah. Well, it's like, I didn't know Dean Ambrose was 6'4". Dean Ambrose is big. Yeah, he's a big dude. Well, then again, you figure they also <coughs> consider, um... Uh... Yep. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I was reading along. I just forgot what I was talking about. Six oh, four. see... CM Punk, they considered small. He's 6'2". So he's taller than me, for Christ's sake. Yeah. Um, oh, no, they're... What? No! They're making my favorite wrestle, my favorite tag team change their name. Who's that? Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Yeah. To the Brass Ring Club, not the masters of the WWE Universe. The Brass Ring Club? That's kind of gay. Yeah, I like the Masters of the WWE Universe so much better. Just oh, Masters master of the Universe. Masturbators of the Universe. Tyson Kidd does... In NXT now, he cut my favorite promo. Because it was all about cats. And how he loves cats. <laughs> and his ring gear now has two cats on it. And his boots say cats on the front and they have paw prints on the back. Wow. Favorite wrestler. What do you think about the Ascension? Um, they actually didn't have a bad... M- I thought their match with, uh, What's Their Face was pretty decent. <coughs> New Age Outlaws. Did they stomp somebody this week? Yeah, they beat, um... The Dust Bunnies. The Dust Bunnies again. Which they're breaking up. Ooh. They're starting to feud with each other. Blaming each other for losing the matches and that type of thing. Yeah. Which um, is total crap, but... No, because I think Cody... That's how they're going to get Cody Rhodes to not be Stardust anymore. Well, he yelled at Goldust for calling him Cody in the ring. Cody's not here. He doesn't want to be Cody anymore. 
He's gonna turn back into Cody. I think that's. I got a Cody Rhodes shirt. By Did the you? Way. Yeah, I bought. I Was got... it the one where he wore the bag, or before, or after then? No, it's the one with the comb mustache on the front of it. Oh! It's the Pono mustache. Damn shirt. it! That's my favorite one. Yeah, it's the Pono that's mustache. That's the best Cody Rhodes. You want that shirt? Kinda. <laughs> I, I tell, after the podcast, we'll have to go grab it. Okay. Um, cause I don't think it's gonna sell. It was, it was like part of my favorite like marketing campaign, yeah. like when they did the Royal Rumble, when the commercial it was the speed dating. Yeah. And Cody Rhodes goes up to the girl and he's like, "Just so you know, I have a mustache." <laughs> like, <coughs> I think they should go back and he should grow out his porno mustache again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He should grow out his hair a little bit, grow a porno mustache, and be the next ravishing Rick Rude. Gold Dust 2? Grow the porno mustache up? They can be the porno mustache. No, because I think... <coughs> no, because Gold Dust, by the time he grows a mustache, is going to have to retire. Oh. He's already ready to retire as it is. Um, it's probably his last run. Most, I'm thinking he's done after this WrestleMania. Although, he, he still looks good in the ring. Yeah, well, it's because he's clean now. No. Yeah. It's the first time... I actually went back and watched the whole, like, parking lot brawl match with him and, uh, Piper. Piper. And just to see, like, Piper kiss him on the mouth, I was so confused, and that's how the match ended. That's just weird. Piper kissing him on the mouth? And then took his clothes off, took Goldust's suit off, and Goldust was wearing lingerie. That's awesome. That's, yeah, right? Was it Terry's? Um, it could have been. Terry's clothes? It could have His been. wife at the time? His weird wife at the time? His weird wife. God, what happened to her? I don't know. What did what happen What happened to a lot of these women that used to, like, date or marry or manage? They just, like, totally well, was it, dropped off the face of the was earth. Was it Tori Wilson or Stacey Keebler that dated George Clooney? Uh, Stacey Keebler. That's right. I think, I want to say she was also in Blue Mountain, an episode of Blue Mountain State. Yeah, she's pregnant now, I think. Is she? Yeah. So she's done something with her life. She went from like, oh my god. Well, she's been doing acting. She's been doing a lot of acting. and I haven't seen her in anything. Trish Stratus is the only one that really hasn't been doing anything. Yeah, huh? I forget. She Didn't she just come out with like a whole yoga thing? DDP. DDP did do yoga. That was a kind of a surprise of the Rumble, but that, we called that one, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Hello, ladies. DDP. You know Trish Stratus and Val Venus are like best friends? Val Venus is not dead. Val Venus? <laughs> Val Venus and his penis? Hey, chumpy chumpy to pee pee. <laughs> I love Val Venus. Val Venus is like one of my... I don't think I ever saw Val Venus that, win a match. That like, was one of the dumbest characters. But it was so funny. In, 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 the, in his prime, he won a lot of matches. I know, he was the European champion. When they brought him back, he didn't win dick. No. With his dick. (laughs) Chumpy, chumpy. Chumpy, 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 the pee pee. I went back and I watched that whole thing. They actually just, on WWE.com, they had a huge thing about Kai and Ty. Sorry, it just keeps going off. I don't know why. They had a huge thing about uh, Kai and Ty, though. Yeah. Like, their greatest matches. But, like, it, when you think about it, Val Venus' promos were actually, like, pretty funny back in the day. Yeah. Because, all, like, all the just greats. I didn't know he did a thing where he, like, said Ken Shamrock had a sister. And they had, like, a shower sex scene with, like, yes. Ken Shamrock's that sister. That was his sister. Was that his that real sister? That was his sister? real sister, yes. Really? I forgot what the hell her name was, but, yeah, that was his real sister. Um... I don't know, because he just calls her Ken Shamrock's sister in the thing. Oh, I forgot what her name was. Shit. Oh, that was so funny, though. Uh, B? Oh, wait a minute. B's not here. Oh. Did you look that up for us? We need to get an intern. We do. We need an intern. We need an intern that can look stuff up. Quickly. We're not capable of it. No. Um, but no, like, after the Kai and Tai thing, I went back and I watched it, and I was like, what? Actually, I think it's... It was probably short for something. I think it was Ryan, though. It was Ryan Shamrock. Yep. Yes, it was. That's right. I went back and I watched the whole thing, and I was like, yep. yeah. I mean, what... I'm pretty sure that was his real sister. I'm not 100%, but... Hello, ladies. 
You know the big Balboski. <laughs> yeah, that's just creepy. He came. He saw. <laughs> he kicked your. And he came again. <laughs> it's amazing. They wouldn't be able to get away with that now. No. Did you Not, like my Did uh, you like my oh. Val Venus impression? Yeah, I, I've really worked a long time on that. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. I want to see you use that impression if we ever go meet him somewhere. <laughs> Hello, Val. Do you have a Chris Jericho one? No, I don't. <laughs> Damn. I don't. I'm not good at... They haven't added any other wrestlers he's, for that. He's, the only he's got, one. like, too much of a Canadian accent. Same reason I can't do Edge. <laughs> <laughs> he's got that high-pitched squeal. Yeah. I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. And then Chris... Uh, Chris Jericho is just like, Ever! What about, That's the closest I what got. What your uh, Chris Benoit? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> the, the throat slicing. I, I just punched my front two teeth <laughs> out. <laughs> and then I did oh, the thing. I'm sad. Eddie Guerrero died on me. I can't believe I they talked about Eddie Guerrero. First. Who? Uh, Triple H and Stone Cold. I thought, like... Oh. Did they? Not Yeah, they... See, I, I don't know that. if you're that to that part yet, but like I watched the last part of the twenty minutes. Oh no, first... it's in the same part as when they're talking about Kane and the Undertaker when they're doing the word association. Oh okay. Constant um, professional. They said he was all like when he would when he wasn't stuck in his own head, they said he was a ride. They talked about Owen Hart too. Yeah. Yeah, well um, I can't wait for his wife to stop like being batshit crazy so he can get into the Hall of Fame. Yeah. I'm, I don't know who's going to go in this year. No, it's like, I can't think of anyone. Like, you have to start thinking of attitude. It's weird, too, because you have to start thinking of attitude era people. Attitude and putting era them people? In the... Texas Tornado? He's already in, right? I don't the know. Von Eric? They already put him in. I think. I mean, Don Maracas in? Georgie Animal Steel's in? I think it's going to be the Road Warriors. I don't know if they're in yet, but if they're not... I don't think they're in. If they're not... Vince McMahon has put in... Has already put in the Hall of Fame. The, uh... Regular Hall of Fame. What are you talking about? Uh... Professional Wrestling Hall oh, of Fame. Oh, oh. Not the... WWE one. Gotcha. So, the class of 2014. This is who went in last year. Bruiser Brody. Don Morocco. Sherry went in last year. Playboy Gary Hart. Uh, Lord Alfred Hayes. Uh, Vince McMahon went in a few years ago. Did he? Uh, last year, uh, 2013. Tito Santana. Tito Santana. Dick Murdoch. A bunch yeah. of people that don't Aaron really Von know. Uh, the 2012. Wild the Wild Samoans went in. Jim Cornette, Superfly. Wendy Richter. Junkyard Dog. The JYD. The J. Go back to two. Was he gay? Who? The JYD. I don't think so. Are you sure you did? Oh, there you go. 2011, Jerry that's a, Lawler. It's my boy! No, yeah. it's not. No, that's, that's the not, sheet. That's the original sheet. <coughs> Jerry Lawler, Vince McMahon, the Road Warriors. Ivan Koloff. All were in in 2011. It's not... Wahoo McDaniel, Neil Mascaris. Dusty Rose. Stan Hansen, he knocked out Vader's eye. That was in uh, 2010. Dusty Rhodes. 2009... 2009 was a good class. Billy Grant, Macho Man, Randy Savage, yeah. Paul Orndorff, Chief J. Strongbow, Lou, Lou Albano, Billy Graham. <laughs> good guy. That was a good year. Antonio Inoki. You know who? Bret Hart. 2008 and a bunch of people you don't know. Oh, Bob Backlund. The rest of these people I have no friggin' idea. No. Winstone, why isn't Stone Cold in there? Piper. Piper. <laughs> ah, bless you. Sorry. One more. Ted DiBiase. I'm assuming <coughs> that's not oh, all yeah, that is. That's, that's a young, regular Ted DiBiase. It's a young looking Ted DiBiase. It is. 2006, Rick Flair went in. Bobby Heenan. And I don't know a lot of these people. Yeah, a lot of these guys go way back. John, look at Johnny Valiant. Pat Patterson. Ray Stevens. Patterson. Right there in the background, Pat Patterson. Stevens and Patterson. <laughs> George Steele. Look at this dude. Fuzzy Cupid. 
That's weird. Dory Funk. Jack Briscoe. Look at how fucking jacked he was back uh, then. 